Greetings, ascending masters of the new earth, stepping into your divine sovereignty through your I am presence here now. Today is a powerful day. Happy 333 Galactic Portal opening and activation. This Trinity portal is fully open, fully activated. The three goddesses of the trine, the trident, the trinity are with us now in each dantian. The three, the six, and the nine, the tesla codes, as I connected with Aladdin, our bro star of light in Vietnam today, which is going to help us with this catalyst of our great mission of the Eagle Condor and Healing Retreats. As we met today through Zoom, the Tesla codes of the 3, 6, and 9 came through. Many other codes focus your awareness on the 1,444 activation consciousnesses assisting us on bringing our vision to fruition, into reality, into this world. By April 4th, our divine bro star Aladdin's day of birthing, the portal, our bro star came through on 4-4, and with this 3 3 Three portal into the equinox on 320 into the 4 4 portal. This is going to bring the power of manifestation into our consciousness tenfold, a thousandfold. Every day we are building momentum, every day we are quickening. This is the quickening of the ascension of consciousness, the I am presence in action, God in action. Here now, I'm going to read. A quick transmission from today's discourse, which we uploaded, 73 coming in, 37 into the 73 heaven on earth. Today was day 23 of our I Am Discourses of St. Germain on Patreon, which after the 33rd day, Aladdin and I discussed, we will release this course of power manifestation free to the public through a special website, which will give you the information after the 33rd day. So in 10 days from now, these will be released to the public, but our Patreon people get this discourse first, and it's an experiment, an experience. It is a test to see the powers that will flow through these discourses, through our teams and through our tribes, and then we release it to the world on day 33. So be sure to stick around to the end of today's transmissions. At the end, we've been putting divine decrees and invocations to help you transform in your life through the power of your I Am Presence. So this is from today's discourse. If you have been unfortunate enough to create this harmony, disorder, limitation, then can you not see that you alone, through the power of your I Am Presence, the consuming flame, must consciously call on the law of forgiveness, consume that through the flame of life which you are, everything in your world which you have wrongly created, and no one will do it for you. And here, beloved being of light, is how you do it. I say to you, beloved being of light, arise, awaken, to the fullness of your God dominion, fearlessly use the conscious knowledge and direction of this mighty I am energy for your freedom, prosperity, blessing, and enlightenment. Each of you is a glittering, dazzling jewel of light projected into a world of chaos and darkness that the radiance of your light may expand, expand, and expand again that all darkness of the earth be consumed in this mighty radiance of the I Am Presence which you are here now in this sacred vessel, the temple of God, Great Spirit. So really feel into this energy and tap into the consciousness of your I Am Presence, which is pure awareness, Buddha consciousness, Christ consciousness. It goes by many names, but all concepts, fingers pointing to the same moon of enlightenment which is your true nature, your Buddha awareness, your golden cosmic consciousness. Now today on the Schumann charts, it was quiet again today with the power of 11 coming in, but very powerful energies coming with this 333 portal. Yesterday was a day of fire. Today is more calm. But in this activation today and in this portal, we had a powerful 6.3 
earthquake in the sacred portal of Ternavos, Greece. In the Mediterranean, we had 134 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in this realm today. Multiple of these higher dimensional activations were in this portal of Greece. Earlier today in the South Pacific Ocean on the Ring of Fire 4.8, the 12 Divine God is very deep at 384 kilometers. In the portal in Croatia 4.2, in Nikiski, Alaska 4.5, Council of Nine, Colombia, South America, in the northern point of the Andes, this would be the crown of the kundalini activated magnitude 4.6 the mirror of the 64 code of the matrix 147 kilometers depth and the activation in alaska was 99 kilometers the 99 10 degree the sky beings in the aleutian islands in the crown of lemuria the crown of the queen 4.4 magnitude 64 kilometers depth there is the mirror Mentone, Texas, 3.2, Valdez, Alaska, 3.4, south of Fiji on the Ring of Fire, just north of the Tropic of Capricorn, we had a 5.4, very deep at 552 kilometers depth, the 9, and then the activation in Ternavos, Greece, 6.3, the 9, and then also Greece, 5144 in Greece, many activations throughout the day, Indonesia, 4.9, Another 4-5 in Greece, and a 4-9, a 5-3, 4-3, one after another. And then very far north, 87.379, latitude 72.923 with a 5.0 at the very top of the map. In the Arctic Ocean, the higher mind, the higher consciousness. Another South Pacific 4-9, right in the heart of Lemuria. Hawaii 3.0, a 5.1 in Greece, another 4.4 in Greece, British Virgin Islands with the Atlantean code 3.7, Puerto Rico 3.2, another 4.3 in Greece, Chile, South America, Kundalini of Pachamama in the Andes, the Divine Feminine activation 4.4, 103 kilometers depth of 13, and then two activations again in the crown. One right after another, 3.9, 4.3, sand, point, Alaska. The whole ring of fire again is lit up. We are being activated. Our kundalinis are rising. Our spirits are rising through this great ascension. Today, we start with the Sabian symbols. 711 coming in again. Right now, the moon is at 18 degrees, 22 minutes Scorpio. The sun is at 13 degrees, 46 minutes Pisces. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 19 degrees Scorpio, a parrot listening and then talking, repeats a conversation he has overheard. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 14 degrees Pisces, a lady wrapped in fox fur from astrologyweekly.com. And now remember these Sabian symbols are meant to take symbolically, not literally. So just feel into the energies of whatever they transmit. Today from the Isis channelings, Gateway Open, Sirius, plus Orion, plus Aldebaran, plus Mars, plus Pleiades, all the ducks aligned in a row, celestial close conjunction between Mars, Pleiades to be released of distorted masculine attributes so as to align with liberation, wholeness, completeness, and union as the 3-3 three -three Gateway initiates the stirrings of new creations based on sovereignty, wholeness, and union. Magical Trinity, Gateway 3-3, three, three, plus mars Pleiades conjunction. The Trinity is one of the most basic, powerful, and universally accepted terms used to convey completedness, union, and creation. The Trinity of the Goddess, the Maiden, Mother, Krone, Parvati, Lakshmi, Saurashwati, Diana, Selene, Hecate, Bast, Hathor, Sekhmet, Trinity of the God, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Creator, Protector, Destroyer, the Trinity of the Child, Jesus, Horus, Ganesh, Father, Mother, Child, Past, Present, Future, Mind, Body, Spirit, Birth, Death, Rebirth, Heaven, Earth, Underworld, Conscious, Subconscious, Unconscious, Three-Strand DNA, 
and it is within the interplay of these triple cycles continuously expanding converging and merging that creates the very tapestry of our soul journeys moving between embodiment and its associated pleasures and soul lessons and renewal at higher levels of consciousness all in an attempt to source light to experience itself through infinite points of view ultimately reaching consciousness that is holistic and aligned with divine truth hence three three is a significant gateway of completedness and union that ignites the fire of new creations insights initiations passions that are required on the path of enlightenment moksha nirvana a significant addition to potent vibrational frequency of three three is that today mars moves into its closest conjunction with the pleiades since january twentieth nineteen ninety one crazy year which won't happen again until february fourth two thousand thirty eight on four 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 april fourth twenty twenty another synchronicity with our divine bro star's birthday aladdin on four 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 twenty twenty venus the archetype of the divine feminine principle had aligned with the pleiades gateway and one year later we have mars and the divine masculine principle moving into its closest conjunction with the same pleiades gateway out of the few significant entry points for the blue green soul sea to incarnate on earth pleiades gets the maximum in bound traffic and it is also here that one of the most severe distortions has been affected almost at par with orion which prevents the soul to be released from the infinite cycle of birth and rebirth mars in close conjunction with the pleiadian gateway is an opportunity to jettison the baggage of patriarchal attitudes and attributes and its associated trauma abuse karmic retribution so that the principle of the masculine moves closer into wholeness and union and hence a whole new foundational structure for the new creation age to anchor upon on the path initiated on the 444 via venus it's time to wield some magic by the power of three be light and light and grace isis channelings dot wordpress dot com and today from divine sister of the light anrita Melchizedek welcome to this beautiful 333 gateway 3321 beloved hearts this gateway brings through the invitation of renewed balance and equilibrium as well as a deepening sense of the heart's calling along the path of christo sophia the path of unity and divine love through the embrace of the divine feminine and the divine masculine archetypes as flames of divinity we deepen into the flame of divine love through self-love and love for our brothers and sisters as well as drawing to us the remembrance and knowing of ourselves as the sisterhood of the rose and the brotherhood of the light through all golden ages as the sons and daughters of god we have anchored the christos sophia light codes and ignited the threefold flame of power love and wisdom within our loving hearts and within the hearts of all awakening and awakened souls as sisters and brothers of the light we are facing unprecedented times as we dissolve lower karmic timelines and embrace all that arises to know ourselves as love more so at this time of perceived polarization as the shadow is embraced into the light we release the suppression of the divine feminine and the suppression of the divine masculine which created the war of the sexes and dim the light of the goddess these timelines were important to bring us to this point this now moment where we are asked to simply trust and surrender to all that is knowing that all is unfolding for the highest good of humanity and that we are indeed accelerating into the next level of our souls blossoming magnificence and light so let us take a moment to set our sacred space as we move deeper into the essence of our divinity as the light of god we are breathing deeply into the body as you focus on the breath expanding the lower abdomen on the in-breath contracting the lower abdomen on the out-breath as you breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth as one heart and one unified field of light you now experience the activation of the threefold flame of power love and wisdom deep within your loving heart as the threefold flame activates more deeply now through the heart and thymus you release all that is ready to be released in this now as you breathe in love hold the breath and breathe out all that is ready to be released breathing in love holding the breath breathing out all that is ready to be released 
You have a sense now of this beautiful threefold flame expanding from within your loving hearts into each chakra, now into each body part and organ, and now around the body and energy field. As this beautiful flame continues to expand into the unity grid of divine love, it touches into the hearts of all awakening and awakened souls, and now the hearts of all humanity, wonderful, sweet ones. Bring a focus now to your body. If there is any level of discomfort within your body, you gently move your body from side to side or backwards and forwards as you find that perfect balance for you right now to deepen into grace and ease and harmony. And now as this beautiful threefold flame continues to expand and bathe all life upon the sacred earth, amplified through this 333 gateway, you connect to the heart of one and the flame of divine love. You now find yourself in a beautiful ceremonial circle with your brothers and sisters, soul and star family as one heart and one love, feeling yourself drawn to colors, senses, scents, images. Seated in the heart of love, you now state, in the space of divine love as one heart and one love and one unified field of light, I bring myself into my heart's temple and into the threefold flame of power, love, and wisdom within my loving heart. Surrounded in these beautiful flames of divine love, I now experience the healing of my wounded feminine spirit, releasing the subjugation, victimhood, and persecution of the divine feminine principle through all timelines, parallel realities, universes, and dimensions. As I step into a deeper level of appreciation of myself, of loving and nurturing and forgiving myself, I now embrace my inner victim with my heart's temple. I now embrace all the sub-personality aspects of myself needing to be integrating at this time through my divine love and the love of Mother Father God. And now as I experience the integration of my divine feminine spirit, loving, appreciating, and letting go, I merge with my divine masculine spirit, amplifying the energy of who I am and my magnificence and preciousness in completion and wholeness, equilibrium and balance, love, appreciation, and one unity consciousness, through the alchemical marriage of my divine masculine and divine feminine archetypes of light. And so it is, and so it shall be. Enjoy the 333 Gateway Beloved Hearts. Lovingly, Anrita Melchizedek from PleiadianLight.net And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Celia Fenn. 3-3 portal and divine feminine grace, 3rd of March. Today is the 3rd of March, the 3-3 portal. Following on the Virgo full moon, the 3-3 portal is all about the energy of the goddess and the divine feminine. It is the energy of the goddess in nature and abundance through nature, perhaps a fitting energy for this time as the seasons begin to change. This powerful feminine energy made me think how we are all healing the divine feminine within as the age of Pisces unfolded 2,000 years ago, bringing the seeds of the Christ light to earth, the divine feminine was lost and replaced with distorted and artificial masculine energy that suppressed and enslaved the feminine. So many generations of women have suffered under this, and so many are healing wounds so that they can return to their true power as women, and that so men can own their own inner divine feminine without feeling disempowered. Now is the time to reconnect with the flow of blessings and abundance that comes to us when we reconnect with nature and with the Great Mother and with the true Christ Light. We need to remember where we originated in the garden of nature as children of the Divine Mother. When we connect to her, we discover that she is the source of all abundance. When we lose that connection, we fall into a feeling of lack and scarcity and fear. When we reconnect, we feel that abundance is part of who we are and not something outside of us that we need to search for. Have a blessed 3-3, everyone. Today, from the Order of the Star, 3-3 Portal Opening. The third day of March is all on its own a 3-3 Portal. It's a day three of month three. This is the most powerful 3-3 portal this year, together with the supermoon at the end of March, will create a very important cosmic event. The grid of the Earth, the energy network, will be connected to the grids of our star families during this portal opening. The energy networks of our and their civilizations will open up and connect to each other. 
The energies will weave and merge together to create a larger grid of co-creation. This will both stabilize the network of the earth to prepare for future raises of the energies. It also opens up for more collaboration between civilizations, especially in the form of information exchange. In the opening of the 3-3 portal, a connection with the Pleiades and Sirius, and to some extent Arcturus, will be established. 3 in numerology is very significant, and even more significant is 333. We're activated with more creativity and optimism, joy, ease, social connection, and communication than ever. The number 3 represents the Trinity, most commonly associated with the idea of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yet early Christians identified the Holy Spirit as Mother up until the 5th century, making it the Trinity of the Divine Father, Divine Mother, and Child. 333 is associated with the three-dimensional equilateral triangle or the Star of David or the Merkaba triangles which are very important as we move from the four lower chakras to integrate the three higher ones. The number three is also present in 3D and likewise it indicates the material aspect of the world. It shows our ability to create and to manifest. Number three can also be referred to as the building blocks of our lives. It is the total of our mind, body, and spirit. It represents the starting point, the middle, and the ending points of our lives. Three is also the number for creativity. It helps in expressing ourselves creatively and listening to our inner voice as well. If we truly be silent and be guided by our inner voice, we can reach the highest truth. It can put us all in the right path. When it comes to love for all your twin flame lovers, 333 is calling you to be decisive, stop wavering, and make serious choices in your relationships. 333 has a strong connection to twin flames. March 3rd would be an opportune time to connect yourself or your twin flame and create a sacred space for tantric breathwork, for exploring the kundalini, and stepping in deeper with your sacred sexual union. Indeed, 333 encourages us to work on our spiritual growth and stretch ourselves. 3 is the number of the channels within the etheric body, which align with the spine and twin flame kundalini. In India, they represent the three as the Ida, Pingala, and Sushumna. 33 is the number of spinal vertebrae. Ida is the left channel, is white or silver, feminine, cold, and represents the moon or divine mother. Pingala is the right channel, is red, masculine, hot, represents the sun or divine father. Both arrive from the root chakra and go to their respective right or left nostril. The Shushumna is the central channel and is associated with a twin flame union where there is a trinity of three or more subtle channels, Vajra, Chitrini, and Brahma, Nadi, through which the Kundalini moves upwards, running up the body from just below Muladhara chakra to Sahasrara chakra at the crown of the head. 333 represents the twin flame kundalini or union of the serpents coming together to form infinite life. What is portal opening? The astrological and numerological events create sophisticated codes to open up the doors between dimensions. It is like a four-digit code giving you access to a building. The different alignments create codes to open different channels where we can access information and light. Dates like 1111 or 1212 are powerful portal openings. There are also the 333 portal, but that was in 2019. Portal openings are a great time for when the connection of the grids are established. We have stepped up to another level in our evolution. Make sure to take it easy during these days, rests. Go out in nature and drink lots of water to integrate the energies. I encourage you to also open up for communication with the higher realms and how you can collaborate more with them. The 3-3 portal is at its peak. We have tons of cosmic energies streaming in right now. The ascension upgrades continue as we continue to receive a high influx of light codes within these energies. These are healing energies. We are adjusting to higher and higher frequency energies. The higher the frequency we are on, the lighter we will become within the body. Our bodies are changing into a light body form. The 3-3 portal is bringing some intense energies with it. Our intentions are so powerful today. 
we are instant manifesting whatever we are thinking about or focusing on. We can really use these energies by becoming more intentional with our goals or plans. The vibrations of 33 are strong. Don't let it slip away. Let it guide you through this period and bring the spiritual best in you. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. The last month has brought so much to the surface to release for the rebirth of your soul. The final death is happening, especially emotionally, so you can move forward into what you have already created that is also birthing. The Most High is restoring you, your heart, your health, your wealth, and your new earth family in union. Karmic debts owed will be paid. Sacrifices have ended. All that is needed is for you to sit on your throne and wait for the neutralizing to complete. Mother, Father, God are asking you to nurture yourself while they are handling business on your behalf. You first, tend to your own garden. As your seeds of your happily ever after are now sprouting, beloveds, you are also being asked to release internal and external struggles over past partners and relationships. These beings are serving the enemy and stealing from you. The collapse of these relationships and karma are happening until complete. This is not a punishment. This is God saving you and giving you the very best. The divine has collected these thieves and taken back what they stole from you. For your remuneration, your role with these people is done. Hand them over to God and wash your hands clean of them now so you can restore and rise as first fruit. Transformation is near and requires your full surrender, faith, and trust during the storm. The divine forces are with you. This is your home that is calling you. Divine will is ensuring that you see home clearly. Divine will is ensuring you see yourself clearly. Why are you here? Where did you come from? The answers are written in the stars. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Venus and Pisces semi-sextile Chiron and Aries and sextile Uranus and Taurus. There's an enticing opportunity to step outside your comfort zone, which will in turn facilitate healing. Relax your boundaries. If you want to attract new things in your life, it requires a change of perspective. Open up to limitless possibilities. Be willing to experiment. Challenge your beliefs at every level. Revolutionize your relationships by giving each other space to learn and grow. The thread of love that binds you can stretch without breaking. If it's your financial picture that needs a revamp, consider alternative avenues of income. Passive income may be the route that changes everything. Watch for mystical connections coming through cyberspace. Be open to cosmic downloads. Fall in love with life, the wonders of the world. Let your heart be lifted by humanitarian tales and charitable acts, even in these difficult times. Love blossoms in the strangest of places. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from Galactic Destiny Readings and Divine Sister Christina Papa Giorgio. We are entering the Blue Storm Wave Spell from March 3rd through the 15th, 2021. Kins 79 through 91. Thunderstruck. Here come the Thunder Beings. The Blue Storm Wave Spell is the seventh wave spell of the Dream Spell Journey and the third wave spell of the White Northern Castle of Crossing. Blue Storm is the most power filled and energized of the 20 tribes, solar seals, and the Dream Spell, affording a great well of powerful energy to be catalyzed and transformed for renewed purpose. The Thunder Beings wield the power of Mjolnir the hammer of Thor, the Norse god associated with thunder. Mjolnir is depicted in Norse mythology as one of the most fearsome and powerful weapons in existence, capable of leveling mountains. As such, we have divine powers to overcome the forces of evil and darkness as the lightning illuminates the sky and electrically charges the air, clearing the pollution and giving us life-enhancing fresh air to breathe into our being, revitalizing our body. The sign of storm comes with the original Mayan glyph of Kawak, which signifies storm, divine ray, thunder, and rains. This glyph is part of the Maya myth of creation, which is represented by three turtles carrying the sign of Kawak on their shells. 
Exactly before life emerged on earth, our planet was under heavy rains, which formed the oceans. Thus the storm represents the necessary transformation that occurs before the new creation. It symbols the change of paradigm towards the evolution of consciousness. The rains wash away the old perceptions. The divine ray represents the new revelation. Precisely in the dream spell, transcreation of the Maya Zolkin, the storm is the catalyzer of the transformation and also the energetic power which manifests the self-generation in order to attain the new beginning. The blue storm invites us to let go of the old paradigms and explore the new ones in order to fulfill our transformational purpose on earth and attain higher consciousness. Go forth and create beloved star blossoms. Affirmation I am purifying and transforming myself, igniting my light body, and healing all separation. I call out to you, my light body self, to embrace the lightning strike of the thunder beings through my pilgrimage into the unknown. Through the purple flames of transmutation, I return to a home I never left. From the Mayan Oracle from Ariel, Spillsbury, and Michael Briner. Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 79, Blue Magnetic Storm. Magnetic is the name for the number one, and its key words are attract, unify, and purpose. The first day of the wave spell sets the agenda for the 13 day journey. Set your goals, identify your purpose, and consciously enter this wave spell. It's the best way to get the most out of it. Today is Blue Storm, which represents catalyze, energy, and self generation. This is a real humdinger of a wave spell, and for those who don't like change, they dread when it comes around. Personally, I like it if embraced with courage. This wave spell has potential to change your life. Ride the storm's energy rather than be swept away by it. It can be like a fairground ride during an earthquake, but hey, some people actually enjoy the thrill. The guide today is Blue Storm as well, and therefore the storm is guided by itself. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina, Papa Giorgio, Blue Magnetic Storm, Kin 79, 3 March 2021, Catalyzing Transformation, 332021 equal 3323 equal 335 equal 38 equal 11 equal 2, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, 33 Divine Portal, 5. Freedom, Change, Transformation, Liberation. 8. Infinity, Abundance, Source, Flow. 11. Gate, Portal, Polarity. 2. Twins, Partners, Cooperation. Kin 7, 9 equals 16 equals 7 equal Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude. Here come the Thunder Beings. A double storm code with the year of the lunar storm. Aligning with this triple blue magnetic storm day. Looks like we are off to an electrifying start to this 13-day storm wave spell. Another very, very powerful day. Triple storm energy. Looks like a turbo gale is on its way. Today we commence a new 13-day cycle. It is day one in the blue storm wave spell of purification, cleansing, transformation, and evolution. Today we are focused on magnetizing and attracting tremendous energy to catalyze transformation on a personal, collective, and global level. The World Bridger enabled us to release and let go of the old matrix. Witnessing the death of the old cycle and the old earth, we are now free and have created space for the new to enter our lives and change our reality. During this next phase, many souls will have the rug pulled from under their feet. Their old foundations will crumble and they will be forced to seek new ground, perhaps literally for some. Many rude awakenings will occur as humanity is forced to face the truth that will be revealed for all to see. Cognitive dissonance and denial will be matched with more persistence from spirit for us to embrace this change and awaken from the hypnotic spell that kept us in our collective slumber. Get ready, folks. We are about to commence the turbo spin cycle. Tone of creation, magnetic, is tone number one in the spiritual realm. As we initiate a new wave spell cycle, power attracts, action unifies, essence, purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with a magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one. From out of nothing, here one comes, spinning happily. 
magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. Once strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your goals. People, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. The attraction seeks to unify all as one. Thus magnetic kin have a very strong connection to source and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. The power of one is very strong today as it unites us all as one humanity. The magnetic tone today will assist us in attracting all that we require to catalyze our transformation in order to step up into our greater divine purpose. As this storm will bring great social upheaval, the wayshowers will need to be very focused and work together in steering this collective vessel to safer waters. Hold on to your red shoes, Dorothy. The storm is here, and we are no longer in Kansas. The goddess will heighten your sensitivity today, increasing your intuitive knowing on what needs to change and transform in order for your life to flow more smoothly and effortlessly. The lighter we are, the more we can flow. The more we flow, the further we can go. Pure brilliance is known to flow towards us with this powerful code today. Change is upon us, beloveds. The more our vessels are purified, the more pure energy we can draw into our being to be catalyzed. Going with this flow can negate the chaos and disruptive energies so we can ride the waves of harmonious and celebrated change. Today's question is how can I generate and catalyze these transformative energies in order for my life to flow smoothly into the new reality? So Star Blossoms, as a great man once said, it is time to go forth and be the change that you wish to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi, a whole planetary change agents, and La Keka La Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 79, Blue Magnetic Storm, the mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to catalyze. Attracting energy, I seal the matrix of self-generation with the magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And right now in this transmission, we are precisely at 37 minutes, 37 seconds. A few minutes ago, I took a break and went to pick up some foods in the bill came exactly $37.73. Like I tell people, you cannot make this shift up. And if you're new to the channel, 37 into the 73 symbolizes heaven on earth encoded within this mathematical numerical sequence. So on this powerful 333 portal, beloved beings of light, let us know in the comments below what you are experiencing, what you're feeling, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank those of you that are supporting us with pledges on Patreon and donations. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light, Neil Hunter, for your pledge and support today. And I would also like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Sally Benson, for raising your pledge today on Patreon. All of these things help us very much. We rely on the pledges and donations for our daily living expenses. So we appreciate you all for your support. And if you're on our Patreon, be sure to check out Discourse 23 of 33 today of the I Am Presence. And be sure to check out the guided meditation from my sacred condor and I called the Golden Spiral Meditation, which is archived on our site. You can find these teachings and trainings on our community page links on our YouTube channels. If you'd like to support our work and the mission of the Eagle and the Condor, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. Now I'd also like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Mary Stubler, for your extra donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. 
We appreciate all of you and your support. We also have a link in the description to our PayPal account where you can make a one-time donation if you'd like to support our cause. And now I'd like to thank everyone for supporting my queen's art business on Etsy. Thank you, Divine Sister of the Light, Cecilia, for purchasing one of my condor's beautiful goddess totems. And I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Faranas Motameri. It's a beautiful name. Hope I got that right. Thank you for purchasing three goddess totems from my sacred condor. If you'd like to purchase some of her beautiful artwork, you can do so at lunagoddessart.com. Now I'd like to end today's transmission with this sacred, powerful invocation of Saint Germain. Thou mighty, infinite intelligence, thou who dost have power over all things, we welcome thy all-pervading presence, thou all-pervading life, the animating principle of every human being. We give thanks that I am the great and mighty presence, that I am anchored in the heart of every one of God's children, fulfilling the perfect plan in spite of all resistance of the outer activity of the mind. We give praise and thanks that the conscious direction of thy mighty energy is sufficient by those of understanding to bless and to prevail with thy wondrous light and intelligence everywhere. So thank you, beloved beings of life, for joining us today on this transmission and on this great mission of ascension. As we rise together in our I Am Presence, shining radiantly our beautiful light out into this realm, out into the field from our heart center, activating our highest, true, divine light of perfection radiantly from our heart center. For together we co-create the new earth, the new Eden, the new Jerusalem, the eternal heaven on earth what we call eternal bliss consciousness, through this omega point, through the culmination and merging the, the harmonic convergence of all timelines, all realms, and all dimensions here now, through our united conscious efforts of creating the paradise that this place, that this realm was always meant to be. So thank you for the sacrifice you made coming here for this great mission of rising together with Gaia, bringing this dream into a reality. So keep walking your sacred path with heart and shining your light brightly into the night. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.